a Native American face from long ago, an effigy. I found a stone today at a site where I have found a plethora of Native American artifacts thanks to my good friend Gil. Though some will without <clears throat> uh, doubt claim me to be wrong in the assessment I'm about to give, I believe wholeheartedly that this is an effigy that was carefully crafted by the hand of ancient man. An effigy is a figure made to represent a person or animal which has some significance to the one who made it. Usually the significance was somehow spiritual. This effigy, as I have found so often to be the case, is a face in profile, such as the case with this piece that I found today. The ancient uh, Native American who crafted this piece made very good use of the features naturally in this, uh, in this fragment of stone. So let's take a look. The hair from the forehead down the neck is higher than the facial features, giving a definite 3D appearance to the face. There is a depression for the eye, and profound slope of the nose which curves under and gives way to an upper and lower lip and then downward as the chin gives way to the neck. To the right of the nose are two small symbols again uh, quite likely of significance to the man who made this. Perhaps he had the same design on his face. The hair is in what we consider a typical Indian style with a braid extending down in front of the ear. It is quite likely this was carried as a charm by the man who crafted it. Perhaps it was part of the medicine bundle that he carried with him. The stone uh, this was carved from uh, has a blue-green color and is a very hard stone. This piece measures about three inches long by two and a half inches across and about a quarter inch to a half an inch um, in thickness. The artifact from this artifacts from this location are not from Saginaw and were brought in um, as a uh, sort of ballast for railroad tracks. Uh, due to that, I have no idea where any of the artifacts are actually from. That is very sad, as it would be uh, great to be able to give some provenance to these pieces. Wherever this effigy and related artifacts um, were made, the people were quite industrious, and this can be assumed by the type of tools found here. I have picked up about 20 celt forms likely used in woodworking, and you can pick up as many crude choppers as you want. And I've also picked up a number of ground axes, hammer stones, as well as uh, ungrooved and grooved ones. The preponderance of the artifacts would be found um, from a site used for some type of manufacturing as opposed to an occupation site. If only the stone types uh, if any of the stone types that has looked familiar to you, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks, and have a great evening. God bless, and don't forget to subscribe.